Today, we got a deeper look into the development of Hogwarts Legacy in the form of an hour-long presentation. And while this was definitely a very technical video intended for members of the industry and not the general public, they couldn't help but reveal a few new details. Okay, so first things first, at 2725, we get a look at some storyboards. The text below refers to the Dark Wizards as poachers. I'm not sure if we've actually had it confirmed yet that the Dark Wizards are poachers, but now we know. Next up, they casually dropped a much closer look at character creation, showing us five of the six menus. They showed us the presets, and then very, very briefly, they showed us facewear, hairstyles, complexion, and eyebrows. Facewear allows you to choose your face shape, which I really like, and then you can also choose your skin color and choose if you want to wear glasses. The two on the left are mostly lost to low resolution, but it does seem like we can wear potter glasses, which is pretty epic. I'm also assuming that you could take these off or on at whatever you wanted. Hairstyles is pretty straightforward, you just choose the style of hair you want, and then adjust the hair color with the slider at the top. For complexion, you can also choose some various options of freckles and moles, which each have 10 options. You can also choose from a library of scars and markings. In the eyebrows tab, you can choose from 25 eye colors, select your eyebrow color, and choose your eyebrow shape. Now, the furthest icon on the right is the Hogwarts Crest, and it's the only tab they don't switch to. If I had to bet on it, I'd say that that menu is where you choose your Hogwarts house. Now, I do want to remind you guys, things we see in this presentation are not final. So take everything we see with a tiny grain of salt. I do think it's safe to say though that most things we are seeing here are pretty close to final. And then we get this shot right here with this lovely fellow who just shows us so much. He just keeps showing us new things, just like, you know, bombshells after bombshell after bombshell. The first thing that they do is open this drop down menu. In this menu, we see three extremely interesting things. The first is this option called the Deathly Hollows. They were made in the 13th century, so it's 100% possible that we could see the Deathly Hollows. Looking at the fact that this is a robe, could it be referring to the famous invisibility cloak? Next up, we see Professor Black, who is probably the potions teacher. Another interesting thing that we can spot is a carriage driver, perhaps confirming the Hogwarts Express and the carriage ride up to Hogwarts. And then my new best friend drops down another menu, giving us another slew of interesting options. The three most interesting being the Howler, the Player Fight Club Ally, and the Professor Battle of Hogwarts A, B, and C. We already knew from leaked code that there'd probably be a fight club, but this confirms we can also fight alongside other witches and wizards. But the really interesting thing here is these Battle of Hogwarts professors. Obviously, the Battle of Hogwarts is usually referring to Voldemort's attack on Hogwarts in Book 7. Boom! Boom! Wicked! Perhaps there's also an attack on Hogwarts at the end of Hogwarts Legacy. The next and last thing that I'm going to talk about today is a short cinematic clip that they revealed during the presentation. I'm going to let you guys enjoy it, and then afterwards, I'll point out some things I noticed. Yeah, we're straight in the face! No! <laughs> Hi Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blasted! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. So in my opinion, this confirms two things. One, the hippogriff that we ride is a named character, Highwing. Two, it also confirms some basic parkour, as that ledge in front of us at the end is clearly meant to be climbed on. Now, I did lie just a bit. There is one more thing I do want to touch on. As most people know, Hogwarts Legacy's community manager has said that we'll be getting something big in late summer. So is this what he was talking about? No, I don't think so. Like I said at the beginning, this was a presentation intended for the industry, not the general public. I expect that a big event is still likely within the next few weeks. But that's it for today's video. In case you don't know, I have a Discord server focused on Hogwarts Legacy and a Bone Lab. If you're interested in that, there'll be a link at the top of the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.